The final piece I'm going to talk about is UCP and DTR integration. Uh, DTR stands for Docker Trusted Registry. That is our on-premise service for providing a private registry uh, to push and pull images. Uh, and this can be to Universal Control Plane. So what does the uh, integration between these two products look like? So it starts, let's assume that you have a complete UCP and DTR installation. It's already up and running. The purpose of the integration is to allow you to push and pull images from to and from UCP from DTR using a shared authentication backend. So this means that you have users who are authenticated to both your UCP and DTR uh, services, and you don't have to do, expose a Docker login in plain text. So let's show how that's done. So you have your UCP and DTR uh, installations up and running. Notably, you have connected both UCP and DTR to a shared LDAP or Active Directory backend. So you have the same users potentially coming out of both accounts. You've imported user, let's say you've imported user X into UCP, and you've also imported user X into DTR. And you have the same passwords set up for both as per your LDAP Active Directory backend. Now what you're going to want to do is to make UCP and DTR trust each other. In order for this to happen, they both have to have access to each other's certificate authorities. So for DTR, you expose the UCP uh, certificate authority, and this is a series of three, fi three .pem files, and you can use uh, the UCP tool in order to do this, and you upload that into DTR. Similarly, with DTR, you create its certificate authority and upload that into UCP. Now I'm simplifying this process, but this is how you can get UCP and DTR to both understand each other's transport layer security mechanisms. Once you have done this process, and as a user, you've logged into both UCP and DTR using your LDAP Active Directory credentials, you can start pushing and pulling images directly from to and from UCP and DTR. So let's say this DTR's namespace is mydtr.website.com and I have my own private repository, so we'll call that vake, and my own app container, so my app. So once I have this set up, I can do, I can, I've done my login into this various systems and I can do a docker push mydtr.website.com with both the repository, so that could be my namespace, Vivek, slash the app that I want to use, my app, and whatever tag that I currently have. So let's call this version 1.0. When I do this Docker push, this will allow me to bring the image from UCP into, the, into DTR. And since I've already done, I've gotten UCP and DTR to trust each other, and I already have, I already have my users authenticated up across the back end, this will allow me to bring the image into DTR without having to do an additional login and expose my LDAP credentials in plain text. And I can do the exact same thing in reverse by using Docker pull instead of Docker push. So this is, once you have UCP and DTR set up and configured to trust each other, this is how you're able to do a push and pull without having to expose your login credentials. So thanks again for listening to our whiteboarding presentation on Universal Control Plane. We've gone over a high-level architecture of UCP, uh, how to do installation and join new nodes, talking about transport layer security and certificate authorities, high availability, access control, and DTR integration. If you want to learn more, you can go to docs.docker.com slash UCP. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Vivek Saraswat, product manager for UCP, and it's been my pleasure.